us to make, make sure that we are able to appeal against them and win that appeal. I know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the Ohio Democratic Party is going to file a lawsuit to enjoin three of the election bills. And over the last five years, the, the Democrats have not lost one case. So I think it is very, very strong. But we got to raise money to be able to do that. And see, even though we have the courts, and thank God for the courts, that is a more expensive way to have to fight for voting rights. And it would be better to have elected officials in office that respect that. But I think our chances are very, very good to enjoin those bills and win. We haven't lost. We haven't lost five years. We have not lost one federal case as Democrats. Are the same people still sitting? Are the same, the same judges still yes. sitting there? Yes. Yes, they are. Yeah, we're outnumbered on the Supreme Court in Ohio as well. But we can, we can, we can win this. We're gonna keep our winning streak. But that's a very good question. Anybody? Any other questions? Jay, you already talked about the. You guys already talked about the. Petition drive. Yeah, why don't you Why don't you talk to us about that? With the, because we know the ODP is involved in that. Why yeah. Don't you tell us where we are. Yeah. So we have the voter uh, the voter bill of rights, and uh, Representative, you come on. You can talk about that too. But the Ohio voter bill of rights, and and really this is a push. Uh, the Ohio Legislative Demo uh, the Ohio Black Caucus really started this under the leadership of Alicia Reese. But all Democrats are embracing this, and it really is just simply to enshrine the right to vote in the Constitution so that it cannot be taken away or played with depending on what party is in power. So it sets in the Constitution, it will set in the Constitution, the number of days, being able to have early voting. It, it, it solidifies very clearly, although it's already a statute, what voting voter fraud is. It does not tolerate voting fraud, voter fraud, but it just makes sure that people have access to the, to the ballot box and it will be in our Constitution so it can't be changed at the whim of the legislature. We do have petitions. We have to collect 385,000 ballot signatures, which means we need about 700,000 signatures to be to make sure that we're over the hump. We do have signatures in the back, or excuse me, petitions in the back. Please see our, 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 our young people in the back back there, our seasoned folks in the back who are young at heart. And you can sign that petition. Please help us make that kind of history because we get that on the ballot in November. We will, we will, we will win that fight. I think most Ohioans, regardless of their political affiliation, believe in fair elections. Yes, ma'am. You said that they will. Well, I heard on MSNBC that they're trying to pass something that limits your power if you are elected to Secretary of State. Have they have they done that? Well, even I don't know what segment you're talking about, but I believe they might be talking about Senate Bill 205. Uh, so far, that's the only bill that has passed that limits the Secretary of State's authority in that unsolicited absentee ballot applications can only be mailed out by the Secretary of State and only if the General Assembly appropriates the funds. So if the General Assembly doesn't appropriate the funds, no absentee ballot application goes out. So I'm not sure, uh, Representative, is there anything else you can think of? I think that's the only thing right now. So that is maybe what they were referring to. You watch your message. We saw you on TV. <laughs> Many times. Awesome. Any other? Clean energy and, laws? Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm concerned about you know, the Republicans are kind of attacking right now. And, you know, you're, you're in a poor family, we're starting to see the Amish start to put solar panels on yeah. their house. Wow. And I want to see that in my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So I am wondering what's going on to the question. Uh, clean energy family. Can you be 310? That's the deal, right? 3T. Yeah, 3T. Oh, well, this is the thing, Court. Elections. If we want different rules and regulations, we gotta we gotta get different people. Now, in 2014, we might not be able to take back the Senate or the House, but we can close the supermajority. 
particularly in the Ohio House, we have a very good chance of doing that. So we should be focused in on the five constitutional offices and winning two or three seats in the House, more seats, keeping the 10 seats that we have in the Senate and winning two more in this cycle. So by the time the next cycle rolls around, you know, the best way to eat an elephant, one bite at a time. So the honest answer is that as far as Senate Bill 310, I mean, if they have the votes, they have the votes. But we got to see the long game, right? We, 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 we're focusing in on right now, but we also have to plan for the future. So five seats, five statewide seats, and winning back two to three House and Senate seats a cycle will get us there. Uh, Chair, how many more questions can we take? One more. Two more. more? Two more. One more. One more. Yeah, he can unless we change things. But don't see, I don't don't be discouraged. See, you can't leave out here discouraged. What you gotta leave out here saying is that we need a new government. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that we don't need a new government. That's what we gotta say. I'm gonna tell you for you. And uh, we, we got a we got a Johns problem. We got an Ohio GOP Johns problem in the state of Ohio. We do. And we need to John Kasich, John Boehner, and John Houston have to go. We don't give them a public to John's all the time. We got them done. We got them done. Can we get one more? Run, need a run. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell me works for my campaign. So, yes, if anybody would like to volunteer, to expand and protect access to the ballot box, to help the woman who's not running for a seat, but running for a cause, unfettered access to the ballot box. You can see Minister Early. I got Chris here as well. My website is ninaturner.org. There's a volunteer form there. And for those of you who would like to do it on the internet, if you want to do it tonight, two of my team members have it. If you are on social media, I got you got to follow me on Twitter, at Nina Turner and like me on Facebook, that is vitally important. But this is going to be a turnout election. We are not going to outraise them. None of the candidates are going to outraise them. But money came by you love. Now, Sher Senator Sher Brown showed y'all, uh, what's that? Uh, Mandel understood that very clearly, that money came by you love. <laughs> Senator Sher Brown won. And the same thing with the President of the United States, even though they, they outraised them with these outside groups, money came by you love. And making sure that we each touch somebody is going to be even that much more important because of the Supreme Court decisions that we have to use our people power. And at the end of the day, as Dr. Martin Luther King once said, truth crushed down to the earth shall rise again. And what we are fighting for is that truth, social justice and equality for all. God bless you, Port. Senator Perry, thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. I want to tell you something. We, the first one of these we did, we had about 30 people. We went up to 50, 55, then up to about 75 or 80, and we're over 100 tonight. Hey. You've been a great job. And I think the, the particular the good news about this is, I feel very confident I can say, you have 100 votes here. <laughs> and we'll all be our friends. Thank you for coming. I have a couple of quick announcements if I can get you before you run out the door.